All right, I'm finally back with another Mustang video. And uh, I got all sorts of life updates and Mustang updates for you. Um, if you haven't noticed, the garage is different. I've moved and got a better setup in here, work on the car and all the bikes. I'll show you that too. But uh, yeah, and also got my first kid on the way. So been busy working on the truck, trying to get that ready because the kid can ride in the truck when he's here. He can't really ride in the Mustang. So <laughs> that's why I've been gone a little bit. But uh, let me show you the garage a little bit here. It's so got staying in its spot. Got all the bikes. Still pretty dirty. Got the toolbox. All the crap still thrown around. But anyway, today I'm going to be addressing the headlights. So I put these new headlights in and they're awesome except for the actual headlight bulb itself because um, these are LEDs, the little three stripes, but the actual bulb is halogen. So we're going to change that. I've got some Oxito LEDs um, and I've put some of these in the Crown Vic. You might have seen that video. I'll put it at the end here, but these are awesome. So I'm going to switch them out here get the uh, crappy halogens out that uh, you can't really see at night very well with them. I mean, they're better than stock still, but we're gonna throw these in. So before we get into the headlight install, um, I got some updates on the Mustang for you. Uh, it's to the age where all the little things are failing on it. So uh, having to do a bunch of little repairs here and there, but uh, the headers, those have been a nightmare. Um, Got to finish editing that video, but uh, that'll be the next one that I'll get out to you guys. But man, that header thing has been a nightmare. It was basically a month in the works of trying different things and going through all the warranty stuff with pipes and only to end up having them tell me to uh, kind of figure it out on my own. And uh, they weren't really standing behind their headers, so nightmare. And they still leak, so I sound like a Hemi driving down the road because it ticks so loud. But uh, here's the other thing. I had a coolant leak that I kept getting underneath the car when I'd pull it out every day. I couldn't find it. Did some research. guess it's super common. I just didn't know about it. But underneath the intake manifold is where your heater lines run. And I guess the plastic elbows in there crack and it leaks. So, yeah, I'm getting a little low on coolant there. It needs a flush anyway. So a good time to change it. So I got to do that. Pull the intake manifold off to get to them and all that stuff. Which is kind of a dumb design, but it is what it is. And also, got to do the spark plugs. Not looking forward to that. Um, power steering, the fluid is low and I've done autocross a few times and doing autocross, it got really stiff when it got hot. So I think fluid break, broke down a little bit. Um, and it's probably the stock fluid anyway. So got to change that. Um, other than that, I mean, she's doing good. Okay, so on these headlights, you just twist that uh, round cap off and it pulls the bulb out. We'll just get that swapped out of there. Super easy deal. All right, here's what the headlights look like now. You can see just a dull looking halogen, which looks kind of dumb with all my LEDs up here. Those fog lights are brighter than the headlights when I turn those on all the way. So, yeah, we'll get the LEDs in there, get them all matching. Gotta change those next. <laughs> Make them look a little better. Alright, so here's the new lights. Oh, need two hands for this. Okay. Come with the gloves so you don't touch the bulbs. Manual. And here they are. 
really beefy. Holding up great in the Crown Vic so far, but I almost forgot to mention the best part of this video is if you need some headlights yourself, um, use the discount code in the description and you'll get 10% off. Um, they've also got stuff for tail lights and all sorts of different things. They've got a new tire pump and a, a battery jump pack, so code works for all that. But we'll get these put in and show you what they look like. Well, I got the headlight bulb out and realized I messed up. Since these are aftermarket, they use an H9 bulb. And stock for the car is H13, and that's what I told them to get me. So I will have to send these back, get the right ones, and get them swapped over. Luckily, Oxito is really good about uh, swapping them because, unfortunately, I did the same thing. Uh, with the Crown Vic, so yeah, we'll get those uh, sent back and get the right size, and I'll show you what they look like when they're in. All right, we're back. A couple days later, got the right headlight bulbs. Oxito sent them out really quick, um, so we're gonna get those put in. Let me show you here what they look like this time. So this is their compact version. So this should work really good in my aftermarket headlights. Still got the fan in the back there to keep them cool. Still a really solid design. So yeah, they come with your gloves and everything, just like the others, but I'll pop those old ones out again and uh, get these new ones in. I'll show you what they look like. All right, I got one in this side over here. It's kind of hard to tell because it's still sunlight out and it's a nice hot 100 degree day but uh yeah that's the kind of the dull look of the halogens there compared to the new leds here you can hear the little fan going all right here's a quick size comparison with the stock or uh, i guess the bulbs that came in my aftermarket headlights and the new Oxito LED. For anybody that's got the same headlights as me, if it'll focus, there's uh, what it is. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Those look way better. Matches the rest of the LEDs. Now I just gotta get these some LED turn signals. It'll be looking real good up front. All right, so we got those in nice and easy. And uh, as always, check the description below and you'll get uh, my discount code for the Oxito LEDs. Um, they make all sorts of different car accessories too. Um, so they've got really cool products. Check out their website. I'll put that down below too. Um, but if you wanna see what these headlights look like at night, go check out my uh, Crown Vic video where I put the same headlight bulbs in uh, that car and they're super bright but in the meantime I've got the coolant leak that's under the intake manifold that these three valves get um, it's the heater core hose that uh, just breaks the connector and they leak like crazy so I'm gonna start tearing that apart and uh, that will be the next video so keep an eye out for that if you got that issue but uh, thanks for watching